Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, my name is Rachel and today is my first video of 2018 and I'm really excited to get to it, I've got loads of great new ideas for the new year. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and New Year and I wish you every happiness in 2018. Today is one of my first videos that is different to just makeup all the time. Today is a new type of video, I've never done anything like this on my channel before and truth be told I'm a little bit nervous about how it's going to go down but if you guys don't like it I will soon know and I can stop doing it but I just thought I'd give it a try anyway and I hope that you guys really do enjoy it. So today I'm doing a video all about my bullet journal. I've been wanting to do this for a while, start a bullet journal but the time when I became interested in it, it was part way through the year and I thought well, there's no point in starting up part way through the year. I would like to just start fresh, start new in January 2018 and do it from then. So I got all the stuff in December ready to do it and I started. So a few of you might be wondering what a bullet journal is. Maybe you've never heard the terminology before or maybe you have but you've never looked into what it actually is. So I feel like a bullet journal is something that's really, really easy to do and makes an awful lot of sense, but it's actually really, really difficult to explain. So the best way of me explaining it is probably by showing you mine and giving you an idea of what it actually is. I will link below the video created by the inventor of the bullet journal and it will kind of go through all of the concepts that he invented to go along with this system. And the beauty of the system is you can pick and choose the elements of the bullet journal that work for you. And it's basically another way of organizing your life and it is a step away from the ordinary traditional diary where you'll have a set layout of week to view or day per page or etc. Or even a yearly planner but everything's set out for you. The big difference with a bullet journal is that you get it as a blank notebook and you fill it in and you organize it exactly how you like it. So you start off from a blank page and you create it yourself. If you want a certain tracker in there, you put it in yourself. You want your calendar in there, you do it yourself. And that can sound a little bit intimidating and a little bit off-putting, but if you're the sort of person who is restricted or feels restricted by a normal diary, maybe it doesn't have everything you need and it ends up looking messy, that was exactly how it was for me. If I had a normal week to view diary or a day per page, I found that I either didn't need to use all of the days or I'd be overfilling some of the days because I put my shopping list on there and I just found that it didn't really work to what I needed it for. So a bullet journal is a great place to start. So basically I have started my own bullet journal and I'm here as a fellow beginner. If you guys are thinking of doing it, I am a fellow beginner as well and I have made some mistakes already and I'm going to talk you through my mistakes because I've left them in my notebook at this stage just so I can show you what it is, why it's a mistake to me and why I want to change it and what I'm going to do to put it right. So it's basically my learning curve as well and I'm going to talk you through all of my setup and spread and basically you can have a look at what a bullet journal looks like. So without further ado, why don't we just get into it? So this is my brand new bullet journal and it's the Leuchtturm 1917 which is a very popular choice among bullet journalers. It's got the two different little bookmarks here that you can just keep track of two pages with which is a great idea and the pages within this bullet journal are dotted. Now you can get gridded and lined and just plain paper as well but the dotted ones work as a guide just so that you can keep everything a little bit more organized and a bit tidier and cleaner looking so you can just work two straight lines if you can. Then you've got the first proper page within your bullet journal and this is an index page where you can keep track of what you want to look for. You've got ease of reference and you can just put your page numbers there. All of the pages are pre-numbered so that does save you a job and that is what's so great about this journal. Then if we go to my page that I have designed myself, my first spread is a 2018 goals and I copied this design from Jamie Page. I will link her channel down below and um, I've got a few of my ideas from her and the reason I wanted to do a goal page is to keep myself accountable for the things that I want to achieve this year and if it's written down it's a lot easier to do that and plus you've got the satisfaction of then going back and crossing out the things that you've achieved as and when you achieve them. My very first goal this year is to qualify as a makeup artist and that is very very achievable because I do my course and I finish it next month then I'll be a qualified professional makeup artist and then after that I also want to hit a thousand subscribers 
subscribers on my channel and that would just be a dream come true for me so I hope that it happens and it will be very satisfying to go back and just tick those both off once they have happened so here's hoping that I can do that and my channel grows even more so that's one of the first things that I've got in my bullet journal just to keep goals and be positive then my first two page spread is my 2018 memory bank those two things at the top are supposed to be clouds but I'm not really happy with the way they've turned out they look a bit messy so I might just cover those up and do them again and another mistake on this page is you can see that the highlight from the post-it notes on the previous page has seeped through because I used a wrong type of marker. I used a marker pen that should be used just with marker paper so it did seep through. So unfortunately that has happened but you live and you learn. And then on the next page I've got a inspirational quote that I've just done in brush calligraphy. I've not really copied that off anybody in particular but I did just google hand lettering so that I could copy brush calligraphy to make it look very pretty and it's basically best year ever. I just wanted something that was very positive and very uplifting at the front of my bullet journal and it just adds a bit of visual interest to the bullet journal as well. My next double page spread also includes a few mistakes and on this spread I've got a habit tracker on the left hand page. If I turn it around for you to see it a bit better I will explain exactly why this is a mistake. One it looks very very messy with the title but I've also put all of the days of the month along the top and all of the months of the year down the side and what I've basically done is I've done a whole year of habit tracking on one graph and that is a real mistake because this habit that I'm tracking drinking three liters of water a day is very doable and very achievable for me so it'll end up looking very very messy once I've filled in all of them little squares so I really didn't think this through and I might have to change that and put it in my weekly spreads instead I'll come back to what a weekly spread is very shortly when I go through my first week but yeah I, I think it would have been better to put it in there and on the right hand page I've got the places I've been this year page and again this is another one that was highly highly inspired by Jamie Page and even down to the little paper aeroplane and this is just to keep track of all the places that I go during the year and all of the places that I visit because it's so easy just to forget all of the little trips that you've been on and I've already been to Morecambe this year as well so I'm looking, fun at, I'm looking forward to keeping track of my journeys this year. And then on my next double page spread, I've got on the left hand side my YouTube milestones. You can't actually see that it says milestones because of the lighting in the room, but it does actually say milestones in that black looking block underneath and this is another one I think it was inspired by Jamie Page I can't quite remember I've looked at that many inspo videos and pictures that I can't quite remember and it just tracks my milestones what it is on the left versus the date on the right and I've already filled it in by putting posted my hundredth video because that's going to happen very very soon and I will just fill in the date once that has happened on the right hand side I've got my master list of groceries and you can probably see there's a big mistake on this. I filled it in before I had organised it into a particular order and the way I want to organise this grocery list is the order I would get them in the shop, in the order that I walk around the shop and I would also bunch all of the vegetables together and then all of the tin stuff together then all of the fresh items together and then finally all of the home stuff together which you can see on the right hand side I started to do but I don't like the way this looks so what I need to do is cover it up and start it again once I've planned it out a little bit better and the way I'm going to do that is by getting these little squares of paper that I broke from the back. The Leuchtturm 1917 has perforated pages at the back and that comes in very useful for if you need to cover something up you can easily perforate it out, cut it into little pieces and just cover them over. I really don't want to use any Tipex in this book because the pages are actually an off white so by using a star white tipex it would really really stand out so I just want to print stick and glue these little pieces of paper in because I think that would work much better and look a lot less messy and then that brings us to the future log and the future log is basically a fancy way of saying a year to view calendar where you've got all of your year to view and you plan out your entire year now I've done six the first six months on this 
first double page spread and then I've done the final six months on another double page spread and in each one I've put the a little version of the calendar and I've noted down in the columns some of the things I have to remember to do during that month little events that will be coming up and things that I've got to look forward to now later on down the line you can take the events from your future log and put them into your monthly spreads or even your weekly spreads if you want to have a trickle down effect but that's truly up to you and the way you work you do not have to do it that way if you want to use just your year to view to book in your birthdays and anniversaries and things that you've got to remember such as that that is absolutely fine the whole point of a bullet journal is to be functional to exactly what you need and you need to plan it however you think on the next double page spread i've also got an inspirational quote in sort of faux brush lettering i did actually google something like this so that i could just copy the brush lettering and the saying home is not a place it's a feeling is very close to me because the place that i currently live in has never felt like home i it's a beautiful house and i love the way it looks but it's just never felt homely and that is something that i am hoping with my next place to feel and i get good vibes when i walk walk into there so it's just something to always remind me that it's a feeling and not a place and then on the right hand side I've got my cover page for January and this design is copied from Amanda Rach Lee she's an amazing bullet journal youtuber and I copied it pretty much word for word picture for picture but I did put in a little snowman as well i can't remember if she did i've watched that many bullet journal videos now i actually can't keep track but i just wanted to do something with a bit of visual interest and to make it look the way january looks january is very cold in the uk every month is cold in the uk but january especially is really really cold and it can be quite snowy it's usually the most snowy month of the year so i wanted to make it just fit the sort of time of year and then my next double page spread i have made this entirely to my own bespoke requirements for january obviously i'm moving house so i've done a double page spread on all of the things that i need to remember to do before i move so that's either changing my addresses with certain companies i've listed them all down or it's in st important stuff that i need to remember and when i need to carry out those tasks maybe i need to change my water supplier i need to inform the council so that my council tax is allocated to the correct house all of that sort of stuff and when i need to do it and you can see that i've already crossed out a few things because i've already done them trying to be super organized but i've just made a complete note of everything if this was a usual diary i wouldn't have the facility to do all this so it's very important to me and then on the next page i've got my monthly log and this is my month to view spread so i can just put all of my important dates for january and you can see that i've put quite a few dates in already and these can either later on down the line be trickled down into my weekly spread but at the minute they're all in my month monthly spread just so I can plan ahead and there's already a few important dates in there. I've also on the right got my YouTube tracker and this is just to track my growth and you can see at the top I've got my subscribers at the 1st of January and then I've got the 31st of January at the bottom of the YouTube box and it's just to put my subscribers at the end of the month and hopefully it has grown. I've got some empty space down the bottom and I've not yet decided what I want to do with that. So I hopefully will come up with a purpose for that area, but if not, I'll just doodle in something decorative. So just so that it looks a little bit pretty and not quite as plain. And then my next double page spread is my week to view calendar. So this is just looking like a typical diary at the moment because that works quite well for me and I've got all of the days from Monday to Friday along with the dates just put in and I've also got some events little things that I need to remember and tasks that I need to do noted in there and you've also see at the bottom I've got a little notes sort of section and it says I need to buy an integrated microwave for my new place but that might not be the same thing in every week. I might not particularly need a notes section next week. I might need a 
shopping list section for different things that I need to buy or I might decide to use the extra space to plan a particular YouTube video and put all of the things I need to remember to include in the video. Just anything that I need, I can just tailor my week to view to accommodate that, which is one of the amazing things about the bullet journal. And you can see another mistake that I've made in this spread is where I've done my pink highlight over the days. I have also made that smudgy because I did the pink over the black. I should have done the pink highlight first and then written over it. And this is again another design by Amanda H. Lee that she did in her 2017 bullet journal. And I've just blatantly taken that and just adapted it slightly because mainly because my calligraphy isn't anywhere near as good as hers. My next double page spread is on the left a practice page for calligraphy. I've never done brush tipped calligraphy before so it's basically a practice page where I'm doing little drills and basically messing it all up because I've never done calligraphy before and then on the right hand side is my expense tracker and you can see the calligraphy at the top is actually a bit prettier on this page to say I'm an artist I'm really crap at calligraphy but I'm actually quite good at faux calligraphy where I just pretend and don't use a brush tip I just use a ball tipped marker just to fake it till I make it and this expense tracker is just to keep track of my spending see what I'm spending my money on and I can just keep track of everything in there so it's got the column for the date whatever it is and whether the money is going in or out of my account you'll notice that the next spread has not been filled in yet and that is for a reason because I may find a use for those pages before I do my next weekly spread so that is one tip that I would give not to plan too far in advance because you might need to use those pages for something else so try not to do weeks and weeks and weeks of spreads ahead of time because then you're not really getting the most out of your bullet journal because you might actually need within that time period to do something else like you might need to plan for something else where you would want to allocate a specific page to it you'll notice that my bullet journal so far has been very black and white and gray and not very colorful or particularly artistic and that is for a deliberate purpose i didn't want to get too in over my head and get bogged down in making it really artistic and really creative but at the expense of being functional because the whole point of it for me is to be functional and to to actually make a way of organizing my life so that's something that I'll incorporate down the line but at the minute I want to keep it simple but still quite pretty looking. The main thing that I would say is don't worry if you're not artistic, don't worry if you're not creative, it really doesn't matter. The main purpose of a bullet journal is to be functional and to help you to organize your life a bit better if it's not pretty that doesn't matter as long as you're not forgetting to pick your kids up from school etc. So I hope you enjoyed this video, it's something a little bit different. If you want me to do plan with me, please let me know in the comments section down below. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you're not already because I'd love to see you back for my next video. I do put up videos every single week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!